Welcome to a Quarrel tutorial on the Relate operator that allows you to perform joins. First, we'll cover some basics about Quarrel's set-based nature. Every set in Quarrel is a set of events. An event is simply a combination of an identity with a value. The identity encodes information on which set the value came from, while the value encodes the data associated with the event. Mathematical operations between sets are done pairwise. This ensures that Quarrel produces intuitive results from expressions such as the one we're entering right now. Here we're looking at the conversions data and conversions.customer.income divided by conversions.customer.age. This expression returns the ratio of the income to age for each customer. If operations on sets were not done pairwise, this would not be the result. It is not possible to perform operations on sets that are not related. This is because Quirrell would not know how to do pairwise matching and would thus return an empty set. For example, if we try to add together the customer income from two different sets, we get an error. Let's take a look at an example now. So we're going to add some billing data and assign it to a variable called billing. And the same thing for conversions. And then we're going to add the income field from billing.customer to the conversions to the income field from conversions.customer. This query is invalid because there is no relationship between the billing and conversion sets. That is, the events from billing do not share any identities with the events from conversions. So if the operation were allowed, it would always produce the empty set. If you have some set X and derive another set Y from it, such that events in the resulting set share identities from the original set, then Quarrel keeps track of the fact that Y is related to X and will let you use those sets together in operations. Let's see an example of that here. Here, in this example, we're deriving conversions prime from conversions because we're just doing a simple filtering on it. So conversions prime is conversions where conversions uh, dot customer dot gender is female. And then we're going to divide conversions prime dot customer dot income by conversions dot customer dot income. In this example, Conversions prime is derived from conversions, so the sets share some identities. Notice that the result of this query is one for every row, which is exactly what we should expect. We are dividing the income of female customers who bought something by the income of those same customers. Even though conversions.customer.income is another set, it matches the identities with the identities in conversions prime. It is unlikely that you would want to write such a query, but hopefully it was useful in illustrating the underlying mechanics of how Corel operates. With that background in place, we can now look at some examples that make use of the relate operator. The relate operator, which is the tilde, specifies that every event in the first set should be considered to match every event in the second set in all subsequent operations in the same scope. If we include a relate in the query that returned an error before, this becomes valid quarrel and will produce the Cartesian cross product of the sum of all customer income from billing with all customer income from conversions. Usually we don't want a full Cartesian cross product and instead we want to filter down to some subset. Since billing and conversions both have a customer.id field, we can filter on that. So we use a where filter, where billing.customer.id equals conversions.customer.id. This essentially relates billing and conversions through their customer ID field, although any other relation is possible, even fuzzy ones. Let's look at one final practical example. First, if we look at some data about uh, the athletes that participated in the London Olympics, we can see that it includes a population variable for each country. Perhaps we want to take that field and include it in data we have for a list of medal winners at the London Olympics. We can do this by joining the two sets together with a relate operator using a width to augment the data set and then filter where the country names are equal. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that now. First, let's make an athletes variable and assign the athletes data into that variable. And then do the same thing with the medals variable. Then we'll need to relate the two data sets. So we'll need to re relate athletes and medals using the relate operator. Then we'll make an intermediate variable, medals with population, which is just going to be the, the medals set with the population variable from the athlete set.
And then we'll want to return that filtered set that has been augmented with the population variable where the country names are equal. Note that this query returns some duplicate rows. For example, there are many rows for the same Argentinian athlete. Where are these duplicate rows coming from? Athletes contains 142 athletes from Ar Argentina, while medals contains three athletes from Argentina. Thus, when we relate medals and athletes with respect to country, we cross a set size of 142 with a set size of three, and thus obtain a set size of 426. To discard these extra rows, we can further filter with a distinct function. That concludes our introduction to joins in the relate operator. Thanks for your time.